Have you heard of the payment firm Flutterwave? You may or may not, but don't worry. We're here to tell you all about them. Flutterwave was created with the goal to be a common payment structure for a fragmented payment setup in Africa. Chief Executive Officer Olubenga Agbula discussed in an interview with Kenyan Wall Street that they would like to be a gateway to help businesses accept payments whether online or in-store. Welcome to 6-0 Crypto, where you get your daily dose of knowledge for crypto. If you want to get the latest news on the cryptocurrency market, then smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Disclaimer Nothing in this video constitutes professional and or financial advice. The sole objective of every piece of content on this channel is to promote discussion and sharing of information. Do your own independent research or consult a qualified financial advisor before making any decisions based on the information provided. This video is not sponsored by Flutterwave. A concern that may arise with wanting to be a common gateway for several states or countries is regulations and interconnectivity issues. Agbula addresses this by saying that they have a massive compliance team. A recent addition was Marshall Lux. His over 30 years in experience in the finance industry gives him credentials and skills such as model building, stress testing, portfolio management and optimization, line setting and increases, fraud, regulation, cyber, and operations risk management to name a few. He served financial service clients across different subsectors and led the firm's risk, technology, and private equity practices at McKinsey. He also helped build their risk management practice while he was there. After McKinsey, he served as Chief Risk Officer for all consumer products globally at J.P. Morgan Chase, including mortgages, credit cards, student loans, auto loans, and small business loans. Most recently, Marshall was a senior partner at the Boston Consulting Group, or BCG, where he is currently an active senior advisor, and he has worked on risk improvement programs for leading banks in the U.S. and globally, and often sits or chairs the risk committees of boards he sits on. With regard to joining the Flutter Wave team, Marshall Luck said, I am thrilled to be advising Flutterwave. They are clearly a winner and an important company in the African payments ecosystem. I look forward to working with the ever-growing team, which is attracting world-class talent. When asked about the rise of fintech in Africa, Agbola seemed very excited in mentioning that financial services and fintech is rising in Africa. Even attracting the sites of large Silicon Valley investors. He stressed the importance of fintech and payments as that along with e-commerce and logistics are pillars for which commerce can stand in Africa. The Flutterwave team believes in endless possibilities. How will they put this into action specifically? They now have a solution and they rolled out these features in a virtual event called Flutterwave 3.0.
The team rolled out a series of products and services, including FinTech as a service, services for embedded finance, SME or small and medium enterprise loans for its users, card issuance for a wide array of clients while announcing the addition of Apple Pay and Google Pay to its payment options. Flutterwave Capital will enable businesses to easily access loans without collateral, cumbersome documentation, and other stringent terms and conditions. A blog post on Flutterwave's website reads, adding that eligible applicants can access the funds they need in less than two business days. With Flutterwave Capital, we're making it easier for business owners to access the funds they require to grow their businesses. Business owners can expand, increase inventory, hire more labor, pay bills, run marketing campaigns, and ultimately grow revenue with these funds, the company said. At the moment, only Flutterwave businesses in Nigeria can access loans, but the company says it is working to make it available to its businesses in South Africa, Kenya, and other markets where it operates. As regards to the fintech as a service solution, Flutterwave is opening up its infrastructure to allow other companies to use its APIs to embed financial capabilities into their existing applications. Flutterwave's fintech as a service provides a unified tech stack that includes KYC or know your customer, account opening, debit card issuance, payments, and real-time transfers through a single endpoint, account servicing, and compliance. The solution helps companies bypass the, at most times, tedious and grueling work of building the infrastructure, integrating multiple disparate financial systems, licensing and compliance required in building and offering consumers digital financial services. Flutterwave also helps businesses outside Africa expand their operations on the continent with an international clientele that includes Booking.com, Flywire, and Uber. What do you think of the Flutterwave system? Do you think they're living up to the promise of endless possibilities, or would it be too soon to tell? If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. We hope we were able to help you know more about Flutterwave through this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And leave a comment if you enjoyed this content. We appreciate you sticking around. This has been 6-0 Crypto, and we hope to see you in the next one.